Uganda is more than a business, it is a responsibility. Hello, my name is Samira. Hi, my name is Aid. And together we founded the Moroccan brand Limela, celebrating artisanship and the art of rock making. The idea of Limela really comes from a shared mutual passion that we have for artisanship. And what is super important to us is that we share the love and the experience of our Moroccan heritage with our Limela community. And we also narrate those stories from a diasporic point of view. And yeah, why did we choose rugs? Because we love them, because they're super beautiful. And all those stories of the rug makers are interwoven with all the rugs that we offer. Cultural storytelling is one of the crucial significant foundations of Limela. Um, it really preserves the cultural identity, um, it gives an account of who the makers are, under what conditions the rugs are made and it really goes hand in hand with our Limela story I think and there is no way we could ever showcase um, those beautiful rugs without providing the specific account and this is also what our customers and Limela friends really appreciate. It's part of who we are and part of Limela. Because of the cultural storytelling that we're providing, um, our um, Limela customers know exactly who the rug makers are and under what conditions the rugs are produced. So let's say we have uh, Limela customers coming over to our little showroom here. We always give them a real experience of um, how Morocco could feel like. So they're not only buying a product, but they're also getting a full-on emotional experience and have an um, yeah, emotional connection to the product or to the rug, basically. We have the minty. We have the music, we tell the stories, how we were going through the Atlas Mountains and all this is providing the context of not just buying the product but really having a connection and an emotion to it. Morocco is not only known for its rug making but also for many other manual crafts. We have jewelry making, we have pottery and uh, leather handcraft. We have also beautiful music like Klawa, Tqal Marrakshia and also beautiful food like tagine, couscous and many more. <laughs> We have three different ways of getting our rugs. Uh, first, I design the rugs myself and I send it to the family that we are working with. Second, they send us some options that were already designed by themselves. And third, we collaborate with a team searching vintage rugs for us. For medium-sized rugs, it takes up to three weeks to fabricate them. And then I would say for the large ones, it takes even up to four weeks. And what we uh, find super interesting about the process of rug making in Morocco, at least, is that it is a shared intergenerational labor. So that means a lot of women of different generations are sitting in front of the loom and knotting the rugs. Um, they're helping each other, they're supporting each other, they teaching each other, and usually it is always the grandmother who's teaching her daughter who's also then teaching her other daughter so it's a very beautiful process to witness and generally the art of rug making really is an art form the most of the rugs that I design I always try to use some amazing symbols like the symbol of power or fertility and sometimes they're also just freestyle but try not to go far away from the Moroccan traditional rock style. So the art of rug making in Morocco follows a very long and complex process. We have rugs that are not hand woven but hand knotted, centimeter by centimeter, millimeter by millimeter. We brought you this beautiful design by Zaid and actually when we turn it around you can see how thickly and beautifully the rug is knotted. So it really goes centimeter by centimeter. We can say the thicker and the more knots they are, the better the quality in general. So you can see how this is beautifully unfolding and that the work is flawless without any holes in it. And that really indicates the quality of, of everything. And our artisan partners are doing an incredible job and we are very, very, very excited and happy to receive this kind of work.
Generally, I find it very difficult to claim the word sustainability for our business or for any business in general. However, our rugs are handmade, slowly handmade. They follow a rural supply chain, so that means that we have the rugs made in the villages, being transported to the big cities before they get imported to Germany, where we are. Um, we also work with women artisan families and artisanal partners together directly, which is also very important. And we work with two different materials. So we have either sheep wool or we have an upcycled collection where old fabrics and cloth are used to um, do a fabrication of bushel rate rugs. We have a beautiful vision for Limela. Limela in Arabic classic means why not? So we really look at Limela as being some sort of an umbrella hybrid term. So we can fit a lot of things into this term. One of our big goals for the future is that we do um, a Limela documentary in the Atlas Mountains featuring the art of rug making and of course the ways in which um, our artisanal partners and women work. Another thing that is really important to us is that we continue extending and expanding on our cultural storytelling so we already insert cultural education um, in our content and we would like to do that even more. So Limela really is not only the business that is showcasing the rugs, but at the same time gives you the opportunity to learn about the Moroccan culture. Limela is more than a business, it is a responsibility.